Hey, welcome to the channel. Shite, this fucking thing. Oh god. Hello, welcome. Right, this is part two. Um, this we're on the backup phone and it started doing weird things. Um, I was in the middle of a the video there. Um, I went and put it on airplane mode and I've closed all the pages. Um, it's. I think this. I'm maybe gonna have to stop using it. It, it seems to be getting worse. It does random things. Um, it goes into things that I don't command it to do. I don't know exactly if this. We'll try it and see. Like with the pages switched off, and the, it's on the airplane mode. I don't know. I, I think it's something to do with the screen. Um, so I was talking about um, what we were talking about was green communism and uh, what's his name again? Um, Josie Ferguson was his name. He went and blocked me, and he, so he's ridiculing my because I've. Because on my Facebook page I have environmental arts. Now the thing is, people, you might say, well, why are you taking all this so seriously? But that's what all of these sort of narcissistic types do. They'll come in and swipe at you, and then when you when you tackle them, then, then they claim that, that you're taking everything so seriously, you know. Um, when you that's because they don't really they like to hide behind. My brother does that actually. He sort of comes away with stuff and then when you tackle them try to pin him down and then he goes, oh I was only joking and everything and why you, you know, so it's gaslighting isn't it really? Um, uh, so, um, so his position was that he was ridiculing my, my um, title on Facebook you know, at the end of the day, Facebook, you know, it's like, people write all sorts of stuff on Facebook, you know. I mean, so I wrote, an, I'm an environmental artist in an environment, and it's kind of like tongue-in-cheek, you know. It's like, well, obviously it's in an environment. It's like, you know, and so, but I am an artist. I'm, I'm um, qualified, you know, I've got an honours degree in art and design. Uh, and I'm well capable of producing art, so if anybody, so, uh, you know, I'm quite confident to, to, to say, you know, or to claim, claim, claim maybe, you know, to, to state that I'm an artist, I'm happy to do so because I am. And there'll be, you know, as some ways, there's very few people that I've came across can match some of the abilities I have. But there, you know, there is obviously is, but I mean it's a, sort of a bit subjective. But um, the art is just something that I didn't choose it; it chose me. It's just the way I am. So you might ridicule that. That's you know, it's a bit silly, really. Um, and it doesn't mean equally. No, this is a bit of a battle that I've got. Not a battle, but it doesn't mean that I should be politically any specific way just because I'm an artist. So I think there's that involved with that discussion that somehow there was a it was so laughable that that I would be objecting to green communism. So I think you you should be able to be whatever, whoever you are right? and and speak your truth. You know, you don't have to follow what other artists are say for example, what other artists believe politically. But say you are it's kind of get you get into the kind of LGBT thing, whereas if you join these groups, then you're very much you, you couldn't really go to LGBT group and then say, "Oh, I'm a proud follower of Donald Trump." I mean, I've tried that; it just won't allow that. You know, so you you can, you, you know, but in reality, is you, you've got to ask yourself, well, "What are you doing with this LGBT group?" You know, you're wasting your fucking time, aren't you? You know, but but that's up to you if you want to go through that. That's fine. Um, so what are you saying? Well, this 
guy was laughing. And I says, this is no laughing matter, this is just our, our jobs are at stake here, and the future of our children and grandchildren. And so he's, he's on the position that, that fossil fuels, we can't keep on using them, which is true, but not right now, you can't just stop using them. You can't stop using fossil fuels. I mean, so the whole problem with the electric car thing is it was pushed on us far too early. The infrastructure's not ready for it. We're not ready for it. You know, and it, it was wrong what they've done, especially forcing, like, subsidising luxury cars, which the Tesla is, and getting the taxpayer, that's us, that, you know, that's everybody, to, fu to, to um, subsidise a luxury product for middle managers to drive around in. That's wrong. And that's, so that's their solution for changing, getting away from fossil fuels, and all the while, we need fossil fuels to make the electric cars, you know, and to, you know to power them and to dispose of them. But before we get bogged down in all that ins and outs, what Josie Ferguson was saying, uh, well, he wasn't really saying a lot other than than try. He thought he could ridicule me, um, and and then he, he wasn't a, as articulate as I am. Um, I, I'm not the most articulate person, but I'm reasonably articulate. Um, I can write things. I can't always pin things down properly, really, but... So I'm verbally better but, than I am when it comes to writing, but... Um, so what I was saying was that... Green communism is already here, we are on Earth. 20 zones. I mean, who the fuck wants 20 zones? You know, it's um, granularly caused a crash there, trying to avoid running over a fucking pigeon. There's a van behind me. Um, but I'm doing 30, which, and they've got 20 signs up. But anyway, I'm doing 30, so that's fine. Um, the bike lanes, the, the clean air zones. Now, so the, the destruction of the oil industry. You know, all that stuff, far too early for all that. So what, the result, so the lies are this, this, and this, and this. The reality is, drug deaths, um, the destruction of our communities, the loss of a future, because they've taken it away, they're taking it away from us. Now, this doesn't really affect me that much. I won't like to say because I'm well. I'm heading towards sixty, and I'm I'm all right. I'm quite comfortable. So, so I'm moaning about all this stuff. But effect, it's affecting my children already. Uh, I've got two children. I've got four all together, but two of them have sort of fell foul of this uh, benefit. I don't know if it's a benefit lifestyle. It's a kind of. Um, um, do you know this thing where you don't actually do anything and you just watch play video games all day that so that that's really not a future and it's not a life and it's going to it's already affecting their health I mean they're in their mid to late 20s um, I have two others one's working in the oil industry and um, I don't know how it's affecting him doesn't talk to me, but he's probably, I'm not exactly sure, I mean there still is an oil industry, but it's getting seriously restricted, and the, the result is, Greensworth gets shot, and, um, we'll just import oil, so all this bullshit, about everything, and we need to stop this, that, and the other, we just import it, and it costs more. You know, you've got to, well, maybe it doesn't cost more. It, it depends which way you look at it. But we'll end up shoving it on boats. This is the hypocrisy of this green stuff, green communism. It's an awful fucking thing. Everybody should fight green communism. But, you know, don't, don't sort of laugh at me, because I say, I call it that. You want to call it something different? Give it a different name, is that better? I don't, I think you should call it what it is. It is green communism, call it that. It's, it's where you're being forced to follow 
an ideology for this predetermined assertion that we need to save the planet and we are damaging the planet. You know, like, so I'm not saying that, I'm saying that they are saying that, we are, you know. And then all the while the environment suffers. This is a whole chronic fucking thing about this. But all the while, all the while the planet, the planet suffers and environment suffers. You know, my idea environmentalism is, is going around cleaning it up, looking after it. And with all this green shit, they don't, they don't have any money for that. So no, so anyway, this Josie Ferguson, I've named him several times, because I think, um, <coughs> so he went, he went, so then he come, the only sort of reasonably intelligent thing he said was, oh, haven't you heard of synthetic oils? I think I really upset him because I said, the first thing you do if there's something wrong with your grandchild is you take them to the doctor. And that's all based on oil. Everything's built, all the, everything run, built, and based on oil. The doctor, the hospital, the NHS, everything about it. So I, I don't know if that upset him, but anyway, <coughs> he says to me, <coughs> Haven't you heard of synthetic oils? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what's he talking about? Synthetic oils. So synthetic oils are oils that are based on crude oil. And so I thought, what's he fucking talking about? The other thing is it biofuels? I mean, that was really, would be the alternative to... I mean, the thing about electric cars and everything is, <coughs> you get these claims going, oh, they're, you know, they're coming on leaps and bounds and they're doing this, that and other. But if you've... I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want, but at what price? That is the fundamental thing about it. So, y you can run a car off whatever you want and have this battery technology and use different stuff, but at what cost? Who's paying for it? Because it's like, you know, you can... So, you can also recycle anything you want as well, but who's paying for it? You know, how much does it cost? <coughs> um. You know, so it's all very well rabbiting on about all the stuff that these ideas. You get it every time with electric car people. They always come away with all that. Ooh, they're doing this, that, and other, and you know, and they're gonna soon. It'll be this, and soon it'll be that. But who's paying for all that? You know, um, who's paying for it? And that's the real crucial thing because um, you can't just keep saying that they're doing this and that. You've got, you've got to talk about what's happening right now. Well, how's it affecting us right now? So, so, so everyone's been done with this green ideology. And so the argument basically is with Scotland and um, this nonsense. So, so I said to this woman, I said to her, that she's living in some kind of fantasy world and she got upset about that, but it's true. You know, you, you can't say, oh, because Scotland's already, we already can't afford to be independent for the last 30 years. So how to even claim <coughs> now, things are even worse now, you know, um, oh, I could have went into that lane. I'm not sure which lane I should be in. Um, I don't know if that car knows what lane they're meant to be in. Uh, uh, they're just sitting there. Um, so no, I never get this fucking roundabout right. Anyway, uh, so to claim that, that that it's about time we went independent, when we're at our knees, and when, when the government's destroyed our infrastructure and just destroying it, the actual SNP government, that's the ones who you would be, if you were wanting to be independent, that's the ones that you would be, you would think would be the ones that you would go to, and they're the ones that's destroying, and this green thing, coming from Davos or, or wherever it is it's coming, you, get, you know, you need to get, get that shit out of your head, because it's, it's not, it's not remotely feasible, it's just like a weird, a weird fantasy. 
<coughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. And I don't know why you blocked me actually. Um, sometimes people do that. They just I think, I think I was just a bit much for him. He started off laughing like fuck, being funny, and then he, I pushed him to to articulate what he was saying, and he couldn't do it. So Josie Ferguson, you failed <laughs> uh, on that little discussion about green communism and it's real, it's out there it, you know, make no mistake um, it's a definite real problem um, that we've got and um, so I hope you enjoyed that video um, oh, oh it's nice and quiet good, because see coming in here later it's actually quite busy um, Right, so thanks for watching. Um, <coughs> bye. <coughs> Please like, share, and subscribe.